What I want to do today is connect our Google Sheets apps to OpenAI so that whenever a new row is created, a prompt will automatically be created in our Sheets app. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Google Sheets to trigger a prompt in ChatGPT, I'll need to use Google Sheets as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Spreadsheet Row as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Sheets sees a new row is created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Sheets, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do that, select the spreadsheet and worksheet you'd like to use for your Zap and click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click send prompt and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen and then select view API keys on the drop down. Click create new secret key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps fields. Under prompt, I'll select question under the dropdown and then I'll click continue. Click test action and we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and then type in Google Sheets into the search bar once more. Click Update Spreadsheet Row and then click Continue. Log into your account once more and then click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, select the drive you'd like to use for your Zap. Next, select the spreadsheet and worksheet that you used in your Trigger step. Under Row, select Row ID and then under Prompt Answer, select Choices Text under the dropdown and then click Continue. Click Test Action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we create a database item in Google Sheets, a prompt will automatically be created. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.